Hello, this is Tutting 101 with Robert Murray, aka Mr. Fantastic. And um basically just gonna show you how I do my basic tuts. Um it's quite simple. Uh, I usually just break this up into three easy parts that we just do on our arm, and um that's the shoulder, the elbow, and the wrist. And uh I call these pivot points. Um, because these are points that your um, tuts will pivot on. It will never be on any other point if you're using your arms. I mean, you can start getting crazy with finger tuts and stuff, but I'm showing you basic tuts. Um, so here we go. Um, my basic tutting starts with uh, the shoulder. This is what I show everybody first, so here they are. Um, Remember that tests always need to be 90 degrees or 180 degrees or 45 degrees, but remember, these are basic tests. So, um, we are on an x-axis, meaning we are a straight pole coming from the floor. We are perpendicular to the floor. Um, and we want to make 90 degrees everywhere. So, 90 degrees make boxes and that's what we like. Um, first. This is the position, the x-axis, straight line position. The second position for the shoulders um, will be here. Boom. Straight out. Now we're trying to make a 180 degree line right here, or 45 degrees here. But if you looked at from my shoulders to my fingers, it's a line. So you don't want to be down here, up here. You want to be straight. So you really get a 90 degree <laughs> box with your arm and your body. And keep that in mind for all the moves we're doing. Everything needs to make a box. And um, so, here's the first position. Second position for the shoulders. The third position is going to be straight up. Just straight up. And you're going to want to make a line right here. So, back here. And then as you come up, you're going to have your palm on the inward side because it's kind of awkward if you have your palm outwards. So. I don't know, you can do it either way, but it depends on how flexible you are and how clean your line will be. The last position for the shoulders is straight in front of you um, with your palm facing inwards. So if I were to do it both, it'd be here, up here, right here. Those are the four positions for your shoulders. Next, I'm going to show you the elbow. This is where it gets kind of fun. Um, this is where everyone kind of trips out and doesn't realize how many tuts that they have that they don't know they have. Um, we're all born with this and it turns out to look like an illusion a lot, but here you guys go. You might know this already from your school, grade school teacher or whatever they might have taught you. They you have nine pivot points on your elbow, but I'm going to teach you if you don't know. So, elbow pivot points. There are nine or ten different ones. It depends on how you count it. But um, starting from your palm up, facing upwards, um, you're going to rotate it towards you. Boom, 90 degrees. You're going to want to make sure that right here is also 90 degrees. Boom. So, one is one, two. Drop it down. Three is going to be away from you. Boom. Now your palm is not facing upwards, but it's facing this way. Now we're going to bring it up one more time. Then down again, just like before, and then away from you. Now your palm's facing down. And then towards you, down, away from you. Now your palm is facing this way. Now you can't go up or down. We're going to go back now. Count them all together. So, one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we've got ten going back and nine going that way. Now, I'm going to show you the wrists from the same position. Four positions, just like the shoulders. Not like the elbow. We don't have nine, but we have four. First one, up, then turn it down. And then up, and turn it down. Up, down, up. Up, 
Got it? So, with all these different positions, you can basically put together your own combinations of basic tests. Boom. Boom. Anything works. Does it matter? As long as all of your lines are 90 degrees, everything will always look clean. And you can also do it with two arms. I'm just doing random ones, but you'll get the idea. So that's Tutting 101. Um, I don't know how straight these were. I wasn't really caring. But remember to keep your tuts 90 degrees at all times. And um, I hope you found this educational. Please subscribe. Please, please like. And um, please keep dancing and supporting the community. Um, peace out. This is Robert Rain. Hope you guys enjoyed my tutorial on tutting.